What I like to do is show you guys how to uh, graph by using our substitution. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we were talking about our substitution, we can substitute one variable in for the other, right? And what we notice here is on both these equations, we have y equals 4x minus 1, and here I have y equals 2x minus 5. So it doesn't really matter. I have, it doesn't really matter how I'm going to, which y I'm going to substitute for. I just need to pick one. And what you could say is, well, rather than using this y, I can now say that y equals 4x minus 1. So what I'll do is, I'm just going to plug this, what y equals, this expression, in for this y. So therefore I'll have 4x minus 1 equals 2x minus 5. Okay? So remember, when we're using substitution, what you want to make sure you have is a variable, either x or y, solved. So there, and in this case, we have y solved twice, which is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever y equals and plug it into that variable. Yes? I got 4x minus 4. I don't know. It should be 4x minus 1, right? Okay. So therefore, I have 4x minus 1 equals 2x minus 5. Now that I've plugged what my variable equals into the other equation, now all I simply need to do is solve for my given variable. So you guys, what happens when we had substitution, now we have the same variable. So now what this is going to do is just another multi-step equation. When we have a variable on both sides, we need to get the variable on the same side. So therefore, I have 2x minus 1 equals negative 5. Now I need to isolate my variable. So I undo everything that's happening to our, my variable. So I'll add my 1. I get 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2. x equals negative 2. So if you guys, oh, what, what? Close. If you guys remember, x equals negative 2. But remember when we were graphing, remember we didn't have to have an x coordinate, right? We had an x and a y coordinate. So we need to figure out what our y value is. So now that x equals negative 2, I'm going to substitute in negative 2 for my value of x. Now it does not matter which value for x I, or which x I plug it into. So just pick one, either top or the bottom. Alex, which one do you want to put in? Top equation or the bottom equation? I like it on the top. Oh, top equation, there we go. <laughs> so let's say y equals 4 times negative 2 minus 1. 4 times equals negative 8 minus 1 y equals negative 9. Therefore, my solution is x equals negative 2, y equals negative 9. So my coordinate point is negative 2 comma negative 9. Okay? Okay?